Aubrey Wyatt. Every single parent on this app should be yelling that name at the top of their fucking lungs. Every parent should be yelling Aubrey Wyatt's name at the top of their lungs. Because you know what? You know the one person that can't yell at the top of their lungs for the loss of that child? Her mom. You want to know why she can't? Because the parents of the children that bullied this poor child to unalive herself have now filed a lawsuit against her and a judge has put a gag order on this mom for mourning and speaking out about the bullying of her child. But the story gets so much worse than that. Imagine, imagine being one of the 4,400 children a year that unalive themselves or one of the 180,000 children a year that don't go to school because of fear of bullying. Imagine your child is one of those children constantly being bullied physically, emotionally, spiritually. Oh yes, they did everything to this child. They did it online. They did it in person. They did it through text. You name it. These horrible kids did it to this poor child, Aubrey. Imagine telling your teachers and it falling on deaf ears. Imagine telling the vice principal falling on deaf ears. Telling the principal falling on deaf ears. Imagine telling the superintendent of the school and it falling on deaf ears. You wanna know what makes it worse? You think it can't even get worse than that. It gets way worse than that. Now imagine that the superintendent of the schools is the father of one of the children who assisted in the bullying your child to death. And this mom is not supposed to speak out about Aubrey. This mom is supposed to stay silent because now these horrible people, P.S., who have continued to bully her daughter even after her passing, they can't even, they're so evil, they can't even let this poor, poor child rest in peace so that her, their parents can mourn. They continue to this day on social media to bully this poor child, to lie on her name. Aubrey fucking Wyatt. Stitch this, do what this, because the mom, she can't talk anymore. They're trying to silence her through fear tactics because wherever town she lives in, all of her in fucking cahoots. The judge, the, the superintendent, the principal, the vice principal, the teachers, all of them had a duty to help that poor child. None of them did. So now we, as a platform, take a stand and stand up for that mom and for Aubrey and say, no more. The madness ends right now. Aubrey Wyatt.